Hello everyone, Giltar here with a, I guess a channel update. It's been a while since I uploaded a video. I've just been busy and for the last about week and a half I've been basically sick uh, and I've been working at the same time so it's slowed down my recovery time. Um, but there's been some recent news in the sort of hobby world that's uh, come out recently. Uh, I said recent, recently, twice. Um, so I'd like to comment on a few things. Um, also to let you guys know that I am still around. Um, I actually do plan on uploading some videos probably later today. Nothing in terms of reviews, but there's been some videos that I'd want to uh, respond to here on YouTube. Um, such as Versus Z's uh, videos on um, things that we invest in and also the conclusion of Common Rider uh, Double and uh, the premiere of O's. Also, I want to comment on Rider Fest, which was a very, very enjoyable uh, uh, event to take part in. Uh, but for now, I'll just, I guess, comment on a couple of things. So, right now, um, I'm at Sabertron.com. It's a website um, devoted to Transformers. I'm a, a community member there, and I go there frequently. Um, anybody who's wondering, it is pronounced Sabertron rather than Cybertron. Um, the name is actually taken from, I guess, the Japanese pronunciation of Cybertron, so they would say it Sabertron, I guess, and you'll see it if you check out the website. It's spelled differently. It's S-E-I-B-E-R-T-R-O-N dot com. Uh, anyways, um, some very exciting news for people who are into Generation 1 characters. Um, Rekgar from uh, the Transformers movie that came out in, I think in 1986 um, is has been revealed in the Generations uh, toy line. Looks very cool. No alt mode pictures yet, but this is the bot mode, which looks very impressive. A very nice uh, homage to the Generation 1 design of Rekgar while also updating it for uh, the Generations line. And that is the purpose of Generations, as well as the previous classics line in that it, it takes inspiration from Generation 1 and previous lines and then gives them a contemporary uh, redesign essentially. Another bit of interesting news is uh, Thunderwing uh, has also shown up, although this is on a I think a Chinese auction site so this is basically a toy stolen from one of the Chinese factories I believe that manufactures the Transformers toys so um, that's Thunderwing in alt mode, no bot mode picks yet but uh, pretty interesting. Some people don't like it, I don't mind it. I'm not a big fan of Thunderwing. I don't know much about the character or design, so it looks alright to me. Uh, some more interesting news for Transformers. Um, Generations Tracks has been revealed, I believe also from the auction site. Uh, this is the alt mode, and this is the bot mode, which looks very cool. Very much like the G1 design, um, as well as the alternators or vinyl tech design of uh, Tracks. And that's pretty much it for Transformers news. Um, so anybody out there who watches my videos, if you're into Transformers, if you haven't heard about this yet, um, I hope this gets you guys as excited as I am, because these look like very interesting um, figures. <coughs> Excuse me, um, like I mentioned, I have a cold, so uh, pardon me for coughing or sneezing or anything during this uh, video of mine. Uh, something else I want to announce is that uh, NarutoMan876 and I will be... Uh, uh, collaborating on a uh, pair of reviews in the near future. I won't say what it is yet, um, but we are working on something, and I'm very excited about it. Um, and I, I want to apologize now publicly to uh, NarutoMan876 because this does involve one of the reviews that I've been talking about doing for some time now, but I've just never gotten around to it. And uh, he's been regularly just asking me, you know, when are you going to review that? And I'm just like, oh, in the near future. I mean, a couple of weeks pass, and I, I, I say again, in the near future. So I, I apologize, but I, I do promise you, this will be the next review that I'll be doing. And again, it'll be a collaboration with uh, Man 876 So uh, check out his channels and his videos. I subscribe to him, and you guys should too. A couple other things I want to point out uh, from Ni Kyung's blog. is just some uh, interesting news, that, uh, to me at least, that's come out recently. So uh, SH Figure Arts of Nami, I think. I don't know the character. It's from One Piece. Um, Ascalon from the Robot Dog Machine line from Double O, uh, SIC Stronger and Tackle. But there's some really interesting news. Where is it? Here it is. Master Grade Quanta has been uh, announced. It's set for a November release. Very cool uh, line art. Um, 
unlike a lot of people out there, I actually like the Quanta design. A lot of people are kind of like anti-Quanta. And I can understand that. We're getting sort of inundated with Exia and Double O uh, variations. Um, you know, Astrea and all the various uh, incarnations of the Double O with the different accessory packs. The same thing with the Exia. I can understand people just getting sort of tired of the design and redesigns and variations. Tired of the, uh, you know, accessory variations. Uh, but I do like the Quanta for various reasons. It's not my favorite design from the Double O movie, but I like it. I would say probably my favorite design is going to be, is rather, the uh, Harute, which I did previously, or recently rather, um, order. So I'll be getting that probably in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, very nice looking model kit from the prototype photos. Um, looks good to me. Looks like he's got a lot of nice detail. Um, so here's hoping, <coughs> excuse me. Here's hoping that we get some uh, photo color, uh, rather fo um, color photographs of the model kit in the near future to give us uh, some more indication of where it's going. Um, the brave um, uh, designs from the Double O movie look cool to me. I like the flag and family of designs. So the brave commander type and the other type look good to me. Um, Gundam X people uh, probably will have, uh, or fans rather, are probably going to be excited about the X Divider release in the high grade um, after war. I'm sorry, uh, I'm, I'm a little muddled right now. Just this cold's got me all messed up. But uh, yeah, it's coming out for the high grade lineup. Looks very cool. Um, actually, it looks a little more appealing to me than the first uh, um, Gundam X kit, uh, which I didn't pick up. Um, I like the design, but just not enough to buy it. Um, Digimon reboots Omega Mon. I don't know anything about Digimon or anything, uh, aside from just being aware of that anime cartoon series. Uh, but the Omega Mon design looks very interesting, so um, I might consider buying this. Looks very cool. It taps into the side of me that really likes you know mechanical designs combined with like organic inspired designs. So this looks like some sort of mix of m mystical mythological beast motifs in like a robot or something so that looks cool to me um... Kotobukiya's Super Robot Wars original generation Gaiden compatible Kaiser uh... I don't know what this is but it looks interesting reminds me of huh, of some brave if you've any guys have watched the brave uh... series of different anime um... that looks like a brave design Hmm. Maybe it is, I don't know. Uh, let's see, there's something else I want to point out here. Oh, I'm, you know, recently I've been getting into the Soul of Chugokin, and just Chugokin figures uh, outside of things like SIC and uh, SH Figure Arts. Those are technically Chugokins, but because they have relatively little die-cast metal content, um, I've been looking to expand my horizons and get outside of it. Um, aside from Super Robot Wars, I recently did pick up the Shin Mazinger, Mazinger or Mazinger or Mazinger or Mazinga or whatever you want to call it, uh, Z figure or Z. Um, this is the GX49 figure. Sorry for the you know dark lighting. I just don't have the lights on. Um, uh, this is a really nice figure. Um, it's transformable, <coughs> and maybe I'll review that sometime in the future. Uh, but yeah, it's got you know, a nice amount of diecast content in there. So, uh, but yeah, I sold Chugokin Daltanius. I don't know what the character is, but a lot of people in the Chugokin. Um, community, fan community, are excited about this, and to me, it looks very neat. For people who are into uh, super robot designs and more retro mecha designs, this might appeal to you. I think that's pretty much it for this page. Some interesting double O high grade kit information, SD... Oh, here's something, how could I forget about this? SH Figure Arts, Kamen Rider O's. Uh, very interesting. Looks very cool. Uh, I do actually, I like the O's series. I watched the first two episodes and I'm enjoying the series so far. And uh, again, I do plan on replying or responding to uh, one of Versus E's videos regarding the premiere uh, of O's. And I'll sort of go into more depth um, in that video. But uh, yeah, I'm liking the look of the um, action figure very much. I like the O's design. A lot of people are just sort of iffy on it. A few people like it. Most people are sort of not so hot on the design and then some other people are iffy. I like it. Um, I don't know. I just I like the design. Uh, Project BM, <laughs> even though that sounds kind of funny to some people, but I think the Bandai and uh, Medicom or Medicom, 
they sort of do a joint project and they, they make one six scale figures um, and this is uh, Burial or Burial or Belial however you want to pronounce it. it looks pretty cool to me it looks very menacing that's it for that I don't know if there's anything interesting here uh, Revolta uh, Collectors, uh, if you're into Friday the 13th and the character of Jason Voorhees, uh, you might be uh, aware, or if not, you might be excited now about the Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees figure. Looks very cool to me. I, I think I'll probably be picking this up. I like how the uh, uh, Kyoto hasn't sort of uh, reined back on the um, sort of gore content, because if you look at this photo of the damaged head of Jason Voorhees, it looks pretty, <laughs> pretty uh, gr grotesque, so uh, I like that. Let's see. Uh, the Sinanju uh, sort of head sculpt display base, like the uh, RX Zeros uh, that was released uh, several months ago. I didn't get that, but I would like to have one if I can find one at some point for a decent price. Probably not likely because it was sort of a, a limited release item that you can only get through certain ways of either buying a certain mo hobby magazine or getting a uh, one of the reissues of the high grade uh, Universal Century. Uh, RX Zero Destroy Mode model kits, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. And I think probably the last bit of news that I want to share with you guys, if you haven't seen it yet, is the um, 2010 uh, Tokyo Game Show uh, sort of preview of a bunch of upcoming Play Arts Kai figures. Uh, if you've watched my uh, Play Arts Kai Naked Snake review, uh, you're going to know that I'm a big fan of that figure, and I'm very excited now about the Play Arts Kai lineup because it looks like it's 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 got some very uh, <coughs> excuse me interesting um, uh, franchises that's delving into now. Obviously, this is Naked Snake here or Big Boss in its Jungle Fatigues version. Very cool. Um, this is Miller. I think this is from Peace Walker too. So this is a sort of a younger looking Miller here. Um, but yeah, that looks like a really great sculpt. I'm very excited about that figure. Um, some figures from from Vanquish. I don't know what that is, uh, but Sam Gideon. And uh, Zaitsev Bogey, I guess. Um, I don't know who they are, but they look like very cool designs, like some sort of like enhanced or power armor designs. Uh, what else? Halo Reach figures look really good to me. I've pre ordered the first wave figures. Um, uh, Deus Ex, I think this might be the game. It's Adam Jensen. I don't know who that is, but again, another cool looking figure. This is a. Ezio um, from uh, Assassin's Creed 2. Just, I'm very impressed by the level of sculpting and detail. And if if the Play Arts Kai carries on, and this is from Final Fantasy 13, uh, I'm not sure what these creatures are. Uh, but yeah, if if, if this uh, Square uh, Enix or Square Enix carries on with what they produced in the Play Arts Kai range so far, with uh, the D Devil May Cry figures, the Bayonetta figures, the uh, the current um, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker figures. These other figures from these other branches look um, like they're going to be equally impressive, if not even better. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking very forward to that. Um, so that's pretty much it for all the news and my channel update. Um, if you guys have any opinions on any of these pieces of news, things like, you know, the Master Grade Quanta, you know, what are your thoughts on these things? I'd like to know. I uh, hope you guys are excited as I am about all these upcoming um, releases. They look all around to be very very interesting um, additions to a collection so um, as usual hope you guys got something out of this video and enjoyed watching it uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys at the next video